29th August 2023, Ali Bongo, the president of Gabon, was declared winner of the presidential elections for the third term. However, moments later, a group of military leaders stormed a national television, seizing control of the nation and declaring a coup, which subsequently led to Ali Bongo's house arrest. And I'm to send a message to all the friends that we have all over the world to tell them to make noise, to make noise, for the people here have arrested me. But how did the president find himself stripped of power by men who were supposed to be under his command? Let's find out. Hello, my name is Chief Okuzo from Plug TV. Ali Bongo, once known as Alain Bernard Bongo, was born under contagious circumstances in neighboring Congo Brazzaville in February 1959. With persistent rumors, which he vehemently denied, suggesting that he might have been adopted from Nigeria during the Biafran War. Bongo's political journey began when his father, Omar Bongo, assumed leadership of Gabon in 1967. Despite his early age, young Alain Bernard was exposed to criticism that would haunt him throughout his life. Francois Gaume, a French historian and Gabonese politics expert, noted that his privileged upbringing, including education in the best schools in Libreville, led to allegations of detachment from the local culture. At the age of nine, Ali Bongo was sent to a private school in Neuilly, a posh Paris suburb, and later attended the Sorbonne to study law. His international upbringing fueled perceptions that he was an outsider, although he and his father converted to Islam in 1973, a move seen as an attempt to attract investments from Muslim countries. Ali Bongo's early years were marked by a passion for football and music. Inherited from his mother, the renowned Gabonese singer Patience Dabani, his youthful reputation as a playboy was cemented with the release of his 1977 funk album branded A Brand New Man. Produced by Charles Bobbitt, the manager of funk legend James Brown. However, within four years of the album's release, he shifted his focus to politics, serving as the Minister of Defense in his father's government for a decade. Despite initial skepticism among the Gabonese population, Ali Bongo gradually transformed into a more reserved figure, adopting a populist campaign style during his father's death in 2009, which ultimately led to his election with 42% of the votes. Yet, allegations of election fraud re-emerged in 2016 when his main challenger, John Ping, contested the results. However, Ali Bongo's fortunes took a dramatic turn in October 2018 when he suffered a stroke during a visit to Saudi Arabia. He was sidelined for nearly a year and in early 2019, mutinying soldiers attempted a coup which was ultimately unsuccessful. Upon his return to power, Ali Bongo attempted to refurbish his image as a rigorous leader focused on rooting out corruption within his inner circle, but persistent health concerns continued to shadow his leadership. Fast forward to 2023, Gabon held its sixth presidential election, which was marred in controversy from the outset due to the simultaneous conduct of presidential, parliamentary, and local elections. This unprecedented combination led to chaos, including late poll openings, missing opposition ballots, and the extension of voting in some areas. After the vote, the internet was cut and a curfew was imposed, indicating a regime seemingly lacking confidence 
in its election victory. Multiple constitutional, legal, and electoral changes further eroded the credibility of the elections, including the last-minute introduction of a single ballot favoring the incumbent. Despite widespread signs of rigged election, Ali Bongo was declared the victor with over 64% of the votes while the public was still asleep, raising further suspicions of foul play. It was in this atmosphere of controversy and mistrust that a group of senior military figures declared a coup on national television, citing the alleged irregularities in the elections as a justification for their coup. The group known as the Committee of Transition and the Restoration of Institutions claimed to represent all security and defense forces in Gabon and placed Ali Bongo under house arrest up to now. A week later, after the coup, Ali Bongo's cousin, who happened to be the coup leader known as Bryce Guema, was sworn in as the interim president of Gabon. Gabon now stands at a critical crossroads as the nation grapples with the repercussions of this military takeover and the uncertain future it holds. What are your thoughts? Leave your thoughts on our comment section. That is it for now. Thanks for watching. Let's me next time. Bye bye.